Hi folks, uh, Mr. Mathblog here, and I hope you guys are doing well. This is lesson uh, one, or I'm sorry, lesson six in chapter one. This is called Adding Whole Numbers, so I hope you guys are enjoying your new teacher this year. I'm sure he or she is fantastic and doing a great job. So anyways, let's go ahead and begin, you guys. So the common core stand, strand is going to be, uh, we're going to use uh, place value knowledge and properties of operation to perform multi-digit addition. So how can we add whole numbers is our essential question. So here's an example right here. The coastline of the United States is 12,383 miles long. Canada's coastline is uh, 113,211 miles longer longer than the coastline of the United States. How long is the coastline of Canada? Okay, so uh, what I'm going to ask you to do is to uh, think about underlining what we're, uh, what we're asked to find. Okay, so I'll do that in red and then we're going to circle the information that we're going to use and I think I did that in blue if I, if I remember right. I did. Okay, good. Alright, so um, uh, this is what they're asking. How long is the coastline of Canada and what information we're going to use. We're going to use these two numbers right here. And since this is how much uh, the United States has, this is how much more, uh, how much more uh, Canada has, then we're going to go ahead and add those numbers together. Now this should give us Canada's uh, miles and coastline right there. Okay, and I love going to the coast. My favorite place is in Northern California, a place called Shelter Cove. Some people call it the Lost Coast. I love it up there. It's up um, up in Humboldt County, and it's just beautiful up there. Great fishing. Just love it, love it. Anyway, okay, let's go ahead and add these numbers. And before we add the numbers, we've got to think about... Um, making sure the numbers line up. So make sure um, uh, the, the ones line up with the one, so this one and this three line up. The tens line up with this ten, so this eight is going to line up with this one right here. The hundreds, the two, and the three are going to line up and so on. And I always like to write my bigger number on top. So this is my bigger number, so the 113,211 is going to be on top, okay? And then I'll put the 12 1,383 on the bottom. Notice uh, the, the ones line up, the tens line up, the hundreds line up, and so on. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is bring it up to the top right there, and let's go ahead and start adding. Let's add the ones. Okay, so one plus three is four, and then I'm going to go ahead and add the tens. One plus eight is nine. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and add the hundreds. Two plus three is five. You guys remember doing this, right? 3 plus 2 for the thousands is 5, and then 1 plus 1 for the ten thousands is 2, and then finally, uh, there's only that 100,000, so let's answer the question right here, so 125,594 what? Okay, so let's answer the question about how long is the coastline of Canada, okay? So we're going to say it's about 1,200, I'm sorry, 125,594 miles long. Okay, that's the coastline of Canada. All right, let's try another one here. Let's do some where we have to carry some numbers over. Okay, we're going to add 570,383 with 97,043. Okay, remember, I'm going to put the bigger number on top, so I'll put this number on top this time, and this number is going to go underneath. Just make sure this 3 is going to go right underneath that 5. This 4 is going to go right underneath that 8, and so on. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to Remember to line up the, the numbers so they, they're in the correct place value. So there's that right there. Okay, here we go. Going to add the ones. 5 plus 3 is 8. That's easy enough. Okay, add the tens. All right, 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. So the, the 12 tens is the same as 100 and 2 tens. Here's my 100. It went in the hundreds uh, column right here. And then here's my 2 tens right here. Okay, so 12 tens, I just put the 2 right there and carry the 1 over into the next column to the left. So it becomes 100 right there. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and add the hundreds now. So when I add the hundreds, uh, this 1 is up here, so 1 plus 3 is 4. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and add the thousands. And then, uh, so 0 plus 7, I'm going to add the 10 thousands. Okay, so 7 plus uh, 9 is 16. So 100, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, 16 10 thousands, because this is in the 10 thousand spot. 16 10 thousands is the same as uh, 100 thousand and 6 10 thousands. And all I did is I just carried the 1 over into the next column right there. Okay, and then now I can go ahead to add the 100 thousands. The 1 plus 5 equals that 6. Okay, and then so let's answer the question. And we're just adding those, so the answer is just uh, 667,428.
Okay, so explain how you know when to re uh, how you know when to regroup when adding. Okay, well that's just when we carry over numbers. So when the sum of the digits in any place value um, uh, is ten or greater, then that's where you have to carry the numbers over or regroup it. That's what your, uh, this textbook likes to call. All right, so uh, we're going to estimate you guys. We can estimate the number. Uh, we can estimate and tell whether an answer is a reasonable answer because some people want to add maybe they carry the, in the wrong place value so we're going to estimate first and then see if our true answer is a reasonable answer to our estimate answer because estimate we can do real fast so to estimate I'm right here to estimate uh, a sum just around each add-in before you add so for example let's estimate the sum and then we'll find the sum so Connie has 2,818 pictures, and Cassie has 415 pictures. Oops, there should be an S right there. So let me put an S right there, and you're not going to get them in the next slide, so I'm sorry. So uh, what's the total number of pictures? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add. I don't know. It's going to drive me nuts. I want to put it there every time. Okay, so what we're going to do is estimate. Well, um, 2,818 is is it closer to 2,000 or 3,000? Well, it's closer to 3,000 because I have it right there. But it is closer to 3,000, you guys, because 20 uh, 2,500 is right in the middle of 2,000 and 3,000, and that's bigger. So this is closer to 3,000. Okay, is 415 closer to 400 or 500? Well, obviously it's closer to 400. So if we just estimated, you guys, and rounded round this up to 3,000, round this to 400. Then if we just add those together, I get 3,400. That's really easy when you you got nice zeros and stuff right there. Okay, so, so the total number of pictures is about 3,400 pictures right there. Okay, so let's, let's find the actual sum right here. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and add these two guys and carry. So 8 plus 5 is 13. I carried the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is uh, 3. Nothing to carry. 8 plus 4 is 12, so i got to carry the 1 from the 12, and then 1 plus 2. Okay, so 3,233. So this, uh, the total number of pictures is 3,233. Is this sum reasonable? And explain. Okay, so remember our, our estimate was 3,400 uh, 3, or 3,400. Well, since, um, uh, since the estimate was 3,400, then yes, uh, 3,233 is a close to that estimate of what we covered right there. Okay, I hope this helps. This is kind of a fun lesson. I like this lesson a lot. Take care, you guys. And, and if, uh, if your folks let you, then go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you don't like it, then if your folks let you, click dislike. Okay, take care, you guys.